This is the new female bionic humanoid robot ever. Every morning when we wake up, we see new sets of headlines. Some of them say things like humanoid robots serving in restaurants or humanoid robots in hospitals, while others say things like a female humanoid robotic nurse was launched or female robot servant in the house. When we hear news like this, our jaws drop and we start to think about how far humans have come and if you will ever be able to buy your own female humanoid robot. Well, say no more. Because of progress in artificial intelligence and robotics, more and more companies around the world are putting female humanoid robots on the market at reasonable prices so people can buy them and bring them into their homes. The most advanced female humanoid robots that can be bought for around $500. When it comes to bringing humanoid robots from fiction into the real world, companies like Hanson Robotics, Engineered Arts, and Boston Dynamics are at the forefront of the conversation. A humanoid is more accurately described as a robot with human-like characteristics than as a robot with human-like characteristics. This kind of robot is built so that it can mimic the human body as closely as possible. Actuators are used because of this, even though their anatomy keeps them from doing the same things as muscles and joints. Humanoid robots use rotary actuators so that they can do the same things as people. Humanoid robots of today not only look like humans, but they also have a primary core. Skills and traits that are similar to the nervous system and give them human-like abilities. In the year 2022, the cost-effectiveness of these female humanoid robots is questioned. However, thanks to the work of a small group of technologically innovative businesses in developing countries, low-cost and reasonably priced female humanoid robots are now on the market and can be bought by anyone. This female humanoid robot that costs $500 is a great choice if you're looking for a low-cost humanoid robot. This robot is easy to get and doesn't cost much because of a number of things, such as cheap labor, cheaper raw materials, a developing economy, and the fact that it doesn't have as many features as more expensive versions of the same product. Serena 4 Last but not least, this humanoid robot that looks like a woman and costs $500 is called Serena 4. Researchers at Iran's University of Tehran made Serena 4 a humanoid robot that looks and acts like an adult. Serena 4 is a female humanoid robot from Iran that was unveiled in December 2019. It's part of a series of humanoid robots from Iran. In this series, Serena 4 is the fourth type of robot. This humanoid is 1.7 meters tall and weighs 68 kilograms. It's an adult-sized humanoid robot that can move its upper body and lower body separately. It can also talk to its human host. She can recognize objects and faces, move around on rough surfaces, follow objects and faces, write, and also do some things just for fun. In addition to these skills, she also does some things that are meant to show off. The robot's arm and hand are made so that they can grab different things with different shapes and levels of stiffness. This lets the robot do things like drill, follow a moving object with its eyes, and write her own name on a whiteboard. When compared to the three models that came before it in the series, this female gender humanoid robot has more advanced features. It also performs better and is more reliable. Serena 4 is also faster and more agile now. The female robot's feet have special force sensors that let it walk on uneven surfaces by changing the angle and placement of each foot as it moves. Researchers said that one of the main goals of the Serena 4 project was to improve the robot's ability to talk to its surroundings. One of the most important goals of the Serena 4 project was to spend as little money as possible on it without sacrificing the quality of the technology. In an article published by IEEE Spectrum, the main creator of the robot, Professor Yusef Koma, was quoted as saying, We feel that we have done so, and it is now available for sale around the world at a nominal price. In general, Serena 4 is more like humanoid robots like Ubtex, Walker, Honda's Asimo, AIST's HRP2, PAL Robotics' Talos, or Keist's Hubo. However, these robots have already shown a wider range of abilities than Serena 4. In a very competitive market, researchers at the University of Tehran did the unthinkable by making a robot that can compete with the most advanced ones. The fact that the price of the female humanoid robot didn't go up because of this was the cherry on top. If you don't mind, let's talk about a few other robots that look like people. Robotic Avatar 
Toyota first introduced the THR3, a humanoid robot, in 2017. It works like a real-world avatar in that it copies the actions of the person who controls it. Tomohisa Moridera, who was in charge of making the THR3, said that humans find it easiest to control robots that look like people. People often say that a robot that looks like a person is useful because it can use the same tools and live in the same place as a person, Moridera said. But there's one more big reason. People find it easiest to control robots when they look like people. The THR3's controls have been improved in time for the Olympic Games in Tokyo, and the robot now walks more like a real person. In the not-too-distant future, these humanoids may be able to do surgery while being controlled by human surgeons in different parts of the world. Caretakers will also be able to do their jobs from afar, and people who need help will be able to live more independently. Robotic Ambassador Hanson Robotics, which is based in Hong Kong, made Sophia, a social humanoid with the face of any humanoid that is probably the most recognizable. Sophia can move, talk, show some emotions, draw, and sing because humans taught her how to do these things. This humanoid robot, which is controlled by AI, was turned on for the first time on February 14, 2016, is still doing her job as a robotic ambassador and helps researchers learn more about robots and how they interact with people. Delivery Robot in January 2020, it was said that Ford was the first customer to use Digit, a humanoid robot made by Agility Robotics in a manufacturing setting. This headless humanoid has flexible arms and legs that let it pick up and stack boxes up to 40 pounds in weight. It also has sensors that let it get around obstacles like stairs and different types of terrain. Even though it usually walks straight, it can balance on one foot and fold up into a very small package for storage. Ford hopes that one day Digit will be able to make deliveries to customers while riding in a car that doesn't need a driver. This would make deliveries to customers completely automatic. Digital Humanoids For example, Samsung's Advanced Technology and Research, or STAR Labs, made the Neon System. These things are controlled by AI and have their own personalities and outward appearances. They are programmed to show a wide range of emotions, learn from each other, and talk in a natural way. Each neon is the result of a computer simulation and can be changed to do many different things, like a virtual doctor or yoga teacher. Robotic Bartender Kime is a robot that can serve both drinks and food. It was made by a company called Mako Robotics, which is based in Spain. This humanoid with a kiosk has been tested in gas stations in Europe and in a Spanish brewery. Its head, torso, and arms are made to look like a person's. The humanoid has anywhere from 14 to 20 degrees of freedom, smart sensors, and uses machine learning to get better at what it does. It can pour and serve up to 300 glasses of beer per hour. This is just one of its skills. Robotic Actor Engineered Arts is a company in the United Kingdom where artists, computer engineers, mechanical engineers, and animators work together to make entertainment humanoids. Will Jackson, who makes movies, started the company in 2004. Engineered Arts tried to make a humanoid for the first time with the well-known Robothespian. It's a robotic actor with a library of gestures, greetings, impressions, songs, and movements that are staged using a hidden system of tracks and dollies. When several of these are put together, they make what's called a robotic theater. This is an integrated system that includes robots, animation software, lighting, sound, movement tracks, touchscreen control, and the ability to control external devices. Thank you so much for watching!